Hello there, uh, welcome back. Sudhir again. And this time I'm going to walk you through uh, joint space mapping, uh, the Shiny app for that that I've created. Okay, the prerequisites remain pretty much the same. You have RNR Studio installed, if not download and install them. Then please go to this site and open it. This is uh, one of the pages in my uh, GitHub account. And when you do that, it's going to open up. Oh, well, let me see where that is. It's going to open up like this here. I want you to copy this entire, all these 65 lines, open our studio and paste them here, right? So this is what it will look like when you paste it. I then want you to go to lines 21 to 23, select them and run them. And when you run them, uh, well, you'll basically have a nice little uh, app open up like this. Okay, so let me just walk through that part. All right, launching the JSM app. This is what we did, right? 21 to 23, we then basically selected and launched it. And the app has uh, an input sidebar and these are the output tabs. I want you to click on this one. It will open it in a browser. If you go to the data input format, it takes in data in a particular format. So what I'm gonna do is walk you through the uh, example data set. Click on this and save these two files, the perceptual file and the preference file. I've already saved them, so I'm not gonna do it again. Okay, Okay. so that's where we are. So what is this example about? Well, this has also been discussed before. So there are these attribute dimensions for a department store of office stationery. And uh, the, this is the store office star, and these are its rivals. There are 24 data points basically from each respondent that we will collect, right? So there are 10 respondents basically and uh, 24 questions each. This is the average table. This is the input to the app. Well, so go here and upload the perceptual map in this particular form. So you can upload any set of brands on any set of attributes, but it has to be in this format. The attributes are here, the brands are here, and these are the average scores from each respondent on each attribute for each brand. Okay, so that's the idea. All right, so what do you get? Well, a variance plot, this is what you get. So what we basically have is a five-dimensional matrix uh, now basically projected into two dimensions. Uh, this is the corresponding spider chart. I mean, I can basically remove certain things or add certain things from the input bars here. This is the JSM plot. I can remove one of those things and the entire plot will change. Yeah. Now upload preference data. Okay, there you go. Uploaded and there you see it. So basically these uh, magenta lines are preferences of individual respondents. I can add or remove, you know, uh, respondents using these buttons here. And uh, that's that. So we basically have each of these brands located in perceptual space uh, along each of these, uh, you know, blue arrows, which are attributes. And the brands are these red dots here. Okay. So, well, that's that.